<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Today <laughs> we're headed out. We're headed back out to Mount Dora. This is something that I've done before, but I don't know if you were ever there before to go to their um, blueberry uh, festival. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I feel like I rewatched the <laughs> old video, and um, I don't. I don't believe I was there. But you know who loves blueberries? Jackson. <laughs> Do you love blueberries? <laughs> So, yeah, hi. <laughs> something that I was reading because I was trying to figure out like what, oh, thank you. Hug. Big hug. I was trying to figure out like what is the blueberry festival all about? What are we going to okay. see there? Like, blueberries? Well, so I was reading though that I guess a lot of the blueberries in Florida that you will see in the grocery store are from Chile. Oh. So these, okay. this is a way to get local blueberries. Okay. Which I thought that was very interesting. I didn't understand why we wouldn't sell local blueberries in local grocery stores. Yeah, that's very strange because I know of at least two you pick blueberry places. Well, and so right now it's okay. like peak blueberry season, which is why the festival is happening. So we will get the best blueberries. That's Mickey. That is Mickey. He says chill. They, they are also going to have, oh no, I lost my glasses. Um, Thank you. Th thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. They're also going to have a blueberry eating contest. They are going to be nose. offering blueberry wine, blueberry beer. They're going to have a blueberry pancake breakfast oh, until 11 a.m. Sharing boogers with mommy. <laughs> um, so there's going to be tons of blueberry themed foods. I did see a couple of cute blueberry themed like photo ops that they showed on the website. Oh. So I'm just all around excited to see everything. <laughs> everything blueberry today so another thing is that we're going to be meeting up with some friends who have a daughter that is just a little bit older than jackson but clo close-ish to his age so i'm excited for him to meet her and to see how oh, are you okay buddy um and just to see them kind of like interact and i, I don't know i'm just very excited yeah. so should we go let's do it yeah all right we got here pretty early it's only about an hour after the festival actually started and we got like a kind of a prime parking spot so there is one electric vehicle charging spot in the whole city of Mount Dora and somebody parked there that wasn't an electric vehicle, but yeah, we did get a good spot in the free lot. Yeah, so we're only about like three blocks away from the Blueberry Festival. Once we get out here too, this is Fifth Avenue. Once we get out here, yeah, you can kind of see some tents down there just past that flashing yellow light. So we are in the free downtown lot just across from the First United Methodist Church right there. So that's one thing that's like not super available in other cities there's just this free parking lot yeah most times you have to pay so this right? is really nice so we are here at the entrance to the blueberry festival yeah look at this it's a pretty good sized festival going on too first thing we see kettle corn oh dang it looks like we're gonna be eating some stuff today this is genoa italian concessions look at these waffle fries with pulled pork they like put out they made some early this morning and put out some display here I mean, just kidding, we ordered all of this. <laughs> Italian sausage with blueberries. Ooh, that's interesting. Should today be the day where we try everything with blueberries? I mean, I think we are in the right place for it. Right? Blueberry festival. Yeah. Look at all these sausages. <laughs> Holy cow. This is a place called Far Reach Farms, and they have all kinds of different, strawberry jam, blueberry lavender jam, strawberry sriracha jam, blueberry habanero. Oh, blueberry lavender? Sounds really interesting. Oh. And they've got different honeys as well. We'll definitely, definitely have to head down there to see what this is, but there's like a big long line at whatever booth is down there. Is that the pancake one? I think so. So they're doing a pancake breakfast until 11. Oh, is it like free or? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wondering, well, the line is very long. That means it must be good. Okay. Bebop's mini donuts, blueberry cheesecake pie, blueberry funnel cake. Oh my and there's goodness. blueberry lemon Oreo too. Oh, oh man. Wow. This sounds awesome. All these different six for six dollars of mini donuts. This sounds so good. Fruity pebble, s'mores, salted caramel. Mmm. Mr. Paella, grab my eyes. Look at this big old paella right here. Holy macaroni. Wow. That looks awesome. It looks so good. And all kinds of different barbecue and stuff over here. Stuffed potatoes, Cuban sandwich, tamales, chicken kebabs. Our first purchase was over here at Black Brews Brothers Coffee. And they have all kinds of different flavors of coffee. This one's a dark roast with notes of lemon and honey. This one's a light roast with notes of blueberry. And they brought this one out for specifically for the festival. 
And we got one more. And then we got one more that has honey this, and cherry notes. So this was the first one that they ever made. Yeah. This was their original blend. Um, so we actually, we got to use for a friend because we don't drink caffeinated coffee anymore. Right. And they don't really have any decaf, so. They said, we have a lighter roast that's a little bit less caffeinated. Right. <laughs> but not decaf. But we'll have to let you know what our friend thinks about these when he tries them. Yeah. Yeah, they like filled up the tennis courts. I thought we we're like, oh, we're almost done. Oh, there's a psychic. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Also, this little homemade ice cream thing here. It's like a little, is it steam powered or is it gas powered? I don't know, but this is like their little ice cream churner. I'm guessing that it's gas powered, but look at the little, like the cam on it and everything. Wow, such slow timing on this engine. That's so interesting though. I wonder if this is uh, like has some history to it. But you can see it's, it's turning the ice cream churn up here. Huh, how interesting. Is that the gas right there? This is all the gas that you need because it runs so slow, I guess. All right, we got, Jen got a root beer float from the guy that's got the little like, Ooh, let's see. Yeah. Then I got butter pecan. Go. Hi. Do you want to have some You want ice some ice cream? cream? Mm -hmm. He was yeah, running around earlier and got a little sweaty. So he's got a fan on him cooling off. All right, let's try this butter pecan. I'm going to get some pecans in there. It's a good looking ice cream, like handmade right there. You saw him churning it with his little, little gas powered ice cream churn. That's real good. Yeah. I love, love a nice butter pecan ice cream. Do you think it's actually made on that truck or do you think that's just for show? Probably just It's just for show. All right, we're actually going across the street to meet our friends. They're at the ice cream shop. Yeah. So, um, but we just saw the ice cream, so we'll have to let them know there's there's ice cream in here made by a, a truck. Right. Also, the company that sells the uh, plumerias is here. The last time we were down here, we went to the Allison A Bakery, and they've got blueberry muffins, lemon blueberry scones, blueberry streusel bars, and a jumbo chocolate chip cookie. Oh, we can buy blueberry plants. Look at that. They already have some blueberries on them. Holy cow. We could grow our own blueberries for you, buddy. Right in the middle of this park is a 100 year celebration time capsule to be opened in August of 2030. So we only got like nine more years and then they're gonna open up this time capsule. I feel like if you all are still here with us on this channel in nine years, remind me that we need to come and watch them open this time capsule. And it's just kind of like right in the middle of this park. So, I think I'm very excited to see what's in it. Over here at the booth for Island Grove Wine Company, they're doing a wine tasting that is try five wines for $6 or $6 for a glass of wine. I feel like trying it is probably the better deal. Handmade polymer clay creations. I like these like Halloween thingies. Look at that. A little like Frankenstein's monster and Bride of Frankenstein's monster. Look at the little penguin's hair moving in the wind. Place here called Steve's Steel Drums. It looks like they've made steel drums out of old coffee cans. And he's playing one right now. Oh, we should get one for Jackson. Right? Yeah, let's do it. And they're all hand painted. Like this one's a little SpongeBob one. How cool is that? This is the little steel drum we got for Jackson. It's got a little dinosaur on it. It's very nice, like hand painted. Sounds really good. It's not sharp at all on the bottom. Yeah. I like that they even tell you. Yeah, what notes there yeah. are. There's, we found another time capsule just next to the, uh, the first one that I showed you, but this one's gonna be opened in 2076 and it was buried in 1976. It's the centennial. What is that? Is, will it be the, the, the bicentennial, the quad centennial? I don't know, but 2076 is a while from now. So if you're still here watching these videos in 2076, remind me to come back. There's a little stand here that I don't, I don't know what the name of it is. I didn't see anything, but we got a blueberry bar right here as a sweet treat, but we need to get something savory first. So we're gonna get that blueberry coated Italian sausage. We came over here cause I was gonna get the blueberry Italian sausage, but then I saw the sign that says you can add blueberry to anything. So what's the weirdest thing we could add blueberries to? All right, we got the weirdest thing we could. We got 
an Italian sausage with blueberries on it. And it's like blueberry pie filling almost. And then we got, what, were these cheese curds or were they like cheese? Cheese curds and blueberry topping. I don't know. But they also gave us uh, some ranch for oh, it too. It. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gonna be, um, and we got a blueberry lemonade, which they just kind of took lemonade and put blue, like pie filling in it. So uh, this ought to be interesting. Let me see. Buddy, you want some lemonade? You want to try my blueberry lemonade? This is blueberry lemonade. What do you think Look, of Look, I got it? a cool souvenir cup and everything. You got a whole blueberry in your mouth right Show now. Show me your face. It. Can I see your face? Did you like it? I'm like chewing it like uh... You're not sure? You're like, usually my drinks don't have chunks, mom. There's another blueberry in there, buddy. <laughs> did you show all the food already? Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. All right, let's try our blueberry... I got ants on me. ...monstrosity. I gotta say, this doesn't look very good. <laughs> no. Hopefully it looks better, or it tastes better than it looks. All right, let's try this blueberry Italian sausage. I mean, it's kind of good. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. What the heck, why is this good? Can I get all my Italian sausages like this? This is great. Jackson wants to, just wants to drink all the lemonade. Hold on, okay, this is like a two-hander, I think. That's a... Uh, Pretty intense for sure. You have blueberry all over your face now. It's kind of good, right? Yeah. Why is it good? It's not super sweet. Right? Wow, it's almost like a glaze. Oh, he took the straw out. Bye. <laughs> that's, from, that's so weird. Right? Yeah, because it's not super sweet. It's like a... Um, it's almost like a, not a barbecue sauce, but like, it's literally just like a, a glaze. Yeah. Wow, I like this. Can I have one more bite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my cheese curds with blueberries and ranch. And I haven't had the like blueberries and the ranch mixed together, but I have tried it with one with ranch and then one with just the blueberry. They're both really good. Let me see if I can do this with one hand and show you guys how cheesy and delicious these are. They also had cheese squares, I think they called them, but this blueberry, it's almost like a glaze. I know I said that earlier, but it is just so delicious and it's such a nice like sweet and salty kind of combination. Okay, I'm going to try a cheese curd. Oh my goodness, bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna try a cheese curd. These are, they're actually really good. We brought our, um, our reusable silverware this time, which I'm glad that we did because a lot of the places are running out of like cutlery. So we have this, but let's try it with the blueberry. So it's, it's, we've had it out here long enough that it's kind of congealed. It's not as like stringy cheese, but it still tastes so good. It's just so delicious. Cheese and blueberry. Wonderful, wonderful combination. All right, I'm gonna try, Jen got these cheese curds a little bit of blueberry on them but that also came with ranch so I'm gonna dip it in the ranch too so that's blueberry cheese curd with ranch let's give it a try and the ranch is not good with the blueberry stuff but without the ranch not bad I'm surprised how well blueberry seems to be going with everything, aside from ranch. Place here called Made by a Bee that sells honey. We're looking for the queen. I feel like I just saw her go over here. That's what they all say. I know. <laughs> oh, and I'm you sorry. just missed it. <laughs> just missed her. <laughs> That is their first responsibility they have when they're born. They go around cleaning the house. All right, I think we're all blueberried out for the blueberry <laughs> festival. Now it's time for lunch. I know that we just had that giant sausage and everything, but we're, we're for the most part, we're going to get Jackson food. Well, but also there was some time elapsed. You, you guys didn't see everything. We've been hanging out with our friends, so yeah. we've been so, chatting. So we're gonna head over to a place that we wanted to eat last time called Pisces Rising. Well, and a lot of you guys actually said that we should have gone there. Yeah. And so we're gonna do that today. Yeah, we're gonna give it a try. Yeah. There's a place over here called Slow Turtle Goat Cheese. And they've got some little goats here. Hey guys. What's going on? The white one is called daffodil. Daffodil. She's part of the flower line. 
<laughs> Jackson, you don't want to see the goats? Here, look, here comes the goat. He's coming over to you. Hello. Let's see. If I do this, maybe the goat will come over. Come here, goat. Oh, no, 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 no. Come over here by mommy. Come here, goat. No, you have to come over by mommy. Say hi, Mr. Goat. That's Mrs. Goat. Oh, hi, That's Mrs. Goat to you. That's my wife. My wife's good about correcting everybody. <laughs> They'll be milking in about a year and a half. No. Maybe two years. Oh, oh my goodness. They make milk bugs. Oh, it's very good. Wow. Hi. Can I come over here? Are you so excited? You, oh, you just want to see all the hardware. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, Lily. Oh, look at that. Nice. There, it's go do some hand sanitizer, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Did you touch the goat? Hello, how are you? He's like, I don't know about that goat. You don't know about the goat? Look, oh my goodness. Hi, goat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not into the goat. You know what's funny though? He was really interested in this button right here. He just wanted to push this button. Nice. Look at these little guys. So. He said they'd be milking in about a year and a half. Really enjoy the architecture in downtown Mount Dora. Like it's just so interesting. Like right next to a brand new place. But it doesn't look that brand new. Looks like they redid an old building. Well I'm pretty glad we came down here because there is more festival down here. I don't know if this is all blueberry if this is just like a Sunday afternoon festival. Like a whole bunch of stuff here. Vietnamese street food and fresh produce right next to each other. Oh, so, we, yeah. we needed to find... Oh no, those are Russell sprouts. I thought they were tomatillas from far oh, away. Oh, we needed them yesterday, but the, these summer roll thingies look delicious. I think they have pho too. Oh, Ooh, yummy. that's interesting. Just like fresh kombucha? Where? Right Blue in front basil. of us. Blue basil. Artisan pasta. Yeah, so we're going down here into this building, I believe, but we're going to eat outside. Even more stuff. Got pickles, pickled cu cucumber, pickling cucumbers. Candy corn? What is candy corn corn? It's like super sweet corn? This doesn't make any sense. Candy corn. This is where we're going to eat. This is called Pisces Rising. And it's an interesting restaurant because it is actually built around a home that was built in 1919. So it's like kind of unassuming out here, but once you get inside, you can really see it. Like take for instance, the restrooms are downstairs. It just, it looks like an old house. This original Heart of Pine floor up here and everything. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, there's just like a fireplace in there and everything. Some neat art. Ceiling fans. <laughs> like, you don't normally see ceiling fans in restaurants. Oh, yeah. This like old, I don't know what you would call this, like the dry kitchen? The prep pantry almost? Yeah, definitely looks like an old house in here. And then we can kind of see like this is this area out here used to be outside before they added on all this other stuff out here. You're kind of on the back porch out here, but we're still inside. So this may have been the front door. And you can kind of see this used to be, there used to be a screen door out here too. Wow. Or just like a door out onto the porch. It's just like cool to see the, like the window here next to what would have been the fireplace. That's also a very large fireplace. This was a like a very nice house back in its heyday. So here are the starters. Ooh, a tuna poke stack. Charcuterie? Brisket poutine. Mm. All right, let's see here, like a filet, shrimp and grits. I think I might get a sandwich. Maybe like a nice turkey sandwich. Ooh, a buffalo bomber. Wow. Paradise Burger with local beef. My goodness. What kind of sides can you get? Bacon cream spinach. Here's what we got. I got the turkey sandwich. Look at this with a house-made bun. It's, it's like, like a, a fresh salad. It's a pretzel bun. Yeah, pretzel panini. Oh, it's like crispy. Yeah, it's a pretzel panini. Oh. Oh. And she said they make their breads fresh every morning. Every what? Every day. They make every day they make the breads fresh. We got some some turkey in here, some bacon. Look at that. That's a good looking sandwich. 
And the fries look really good, like nice seasoned fries. Man, I'm really excited for this. We're here with some friends and they got the brisket on a biscuit. This looks so good. Look at this. Will you put your hand next to it again? It's gigantic. Like, look at the size of that. That's humongous. It's gigantic. That looks really good. Yeah, look at this brisket. It looks... So it normally comes with, um, I think, coleslaw, right? It's like coleslaw, coleslaw and pickles. And pickles. Coleslaw but and pickles. I, oh, no, you can't even take the No, it, it looks no. so good. Holy cow. Yeah. So the server was saying it's definitely like a fork and knife kind of a sandwich, for sure. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's a little cross section. So there's a lot of meat in there. That looks awesome. I kind of wish I had gotten that. that I know. Really <laughs> it looks like you have envy. Sandwich envy. Sandwich envy. And then I actually got the um, the poke poke appetizer? stack. Yeah, this is an appetizer, and I was gonna order a salad to go with it because I thought it was gonna be little. That's She's like, it's appetizer. pretty big. Yeah. So this is the poke stack. It looks delicious. Some some pokes are worth melting for. <laughs> this one is for sure. And then Jackson got some chicken tenders. Oh yeah, we got him some chicken tenders. But and he's like really just going for the fruit. He loves the fruit. It came with a lot of watermelon. We love our watermelon. And then the view is so nice. We're just like right out by the water. I wanted to show my, my poke. And I have to say, this is a pretty big portion. I would 100% order this again. This is delicious. I love it. How did you like your sandwich? The sandwich was so good. The bread looked amazing. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like crispy hard like a baguette, but uh -huh. it wasn't. It was just like perfectly toasted. Was it? Yeah. How was your chicken tenders? Are you waving? Was that so yummy? He's looking for more fruit. But put oh it in there. yeah, he loves. They gave him so many strawberries and so many pieces of watermelon. This was a good fruit bowl. So now it's just like a water in the bottom, and he's like, eh, "Why did my hands wet?" <laughs> We loved it, huh? This is the best lunch ever. I gotta say too, this weather, I know I've already showed that we're by the water, but this weather is amazing. We're on the backside of the Pisces Rising place and you can sort of tell a little bit more about it being a house. You got a chimney here and a chimney over there. I don't know what's going on in these rooms because I couldn't see these rooms, but there is like a storm cellar underneath. I've never seen a storm cellar in Florida but there's one here at this Pisces Rising place. I'm guessing this was also like a back porch that they enclosed. Yeah, you can kind of see the stucco work on the outside. And then this is turned into like a Florida room. And I, judging by the windows, it was turned into a Florida room probably in like the 60s or 70s. But like this is another section. I guess this would have been the old front door of the house over here. Oh yeah, I think there's like a, a, a dormer up there such an interesting building yeah you can see they added in like a stucco here that would have been outside so yeah this definitely would have been outside huh really really interesting setup so now that we're done with our lunch we wanted to talk to you guys about how it was oh jackson wants to run around no he wants to touch every leaf it was really good i loved my little poke stack that was so delicious yeah I want to come back here again and try something different. So I was reading the sign. It's um, fresh Florida steaks and seafood. So I'd love to try a steak. Yeah, I'd like to try. I was going to say I'd like to try some seafood. I don't want to try any seafood. I'd like to try a steak too. Phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed the food here. It, everything was like just so fresh. And all of their, she was saying all the breads they make fresh daily. Yeah. So the sandwiches, like, it was just, it was so good. I'm, I'm. I'm sad that we didn't come here the first time. Right. I feel like that would have, I don't know, it was just so good. Also wanted to point out this sign on the front door. It says, please, as a courtesy to our diners, turn off cell phones inside. That's a very interesting thing that they do. We're almost back to the Blueberry Festival, which is where we parked, but I wanted to point out this building right here. Almost looks like New Orleans. It Another really side does. note is there is an audio cue for crossing the street here. So if you have a visual impairment, you can totally cross the street here. You can kind of hear it telling you it's a time to stop crossing the street. So we are headed out and they've got some live music going now. I'm kind of sad we're missing the live music. Me too. There was so many other blueberry things that we should have gotten too. I know somebody in line had blueberry ice cream and it looks so good. And apparently that was at that same place where we got ice cream but we didn't see it on the menu. Oh was it? That's a, Well no she said behind the fence which I don't know. I didn't ever there see was, a fence in there. This was a much bigger festival than we thought it was going to be, for sure. There was a lot to see here. Yeah, and a whole second festival down by the water. 
Yeah, that which was, we those saw. Those were two separate things. Oh, were they? Yeah, like that one's closed. This one's still running. Well, we are in the city of festivals, so True. this is the festival city. We should come back for another festival. Yeah. So we're back home oh, yes. and Jackson's playing with his steel drum. Can you play me a song, bud? I love that song. That's so nice. Is that a song that you wrote for your mommy? So funny because like we buy him a lot of musical instruments. He has two pianos. He's got a little like drum set. He's got a xylophone that's out of key. <laughs> um, but he doesn't ever really hit any of them or like play any of them. I, this is the first thing he's actually been like. Cause I, because I think it's like he's banging it. You know what I mean? Like it's like. It's not just like he's pressing a button with his fingers. Mm -hmm. It's like he's actually, because it's percussion. Is that, is that easier? Jackson, are you gonna play a song for daddy? But I got a lot of comments on my Instagram. So I put up a picture of me and him when we went to brunch and they're like, oh, he finally got a haircut. I got so many comments that said, he finally got a haircut, but no. Say we still have our mullet. Yeah. We're let's still see if I can show you how much. Yeah, let's see. That's let's, a lot. Let's see this little ponytail, buddy. Isn't your hair in a pony? I think he might like it better. Yeah, look at that. That way he doesn't, it doesn't like brush the back of his neck. I think he, I love this song, bud. I love that. You did so good. <laughs> oh, it's backward. Are you coming up with new music? Wow. Look at you. So, you're very innovative. Creative little guy. Okay. Look at that hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Oh my gosh, bud. Oh, you're doing it backwards. Yeah. He's Try, trying to change the notes. Oh, my little artist. Oh, what it's just getting closer <laughs> and closer to it. Oh, what this. What is this? This is the camera. Okay. This is the camera. Dude. Are you gonna? Is this the new? <laughs> no, don't do that, buddy. <laughs> Daddy's, like, daddy's gonna, gonna get scratch this leg. And daddy's gonna get worried about this. Let's see. I love it. One blueberry item that we did not eat at the festival, but we bought, was this blueberry bar from the unnamed booth. I, I could never find the name of the booth. Let's see how it tastes. See, it's kind of. I can't. They gave me this tiny little spoon, and it's hard to pick stuff up with it. It's like a blueberry crumb cake. Boop. Pretty good. This is a very normal blueberry thing, as opposed to the other blueberry stuff that we ate today. <laughs> it's actually not very sweet at all. I thought it was going to be sweet. The thing that's funny about all the blueberry stuff is that none of it was sweet. You had some blueberry popcorn, now your tongue's all blue. <laughs> it was really good. I don't know if we actually showed you that we bought the blueberry like kettle corn, but we bought some blueberry kettle corn. We split it with our friends, and um, it was actually really good. That was sweet because it's kettle corn. That's my favorite thing that Jackson does, is when he, I don't even know if you guys can see him because he's running by back there, but when he runs around, he like always just yells. He goes, ah. Oh, is this like a blueberry cobbler? Yeah. It's called a blueberry bar. Mm. But it's not sweet, right? No, this is like a, like a breakfast, like a coffee yeah. cake. This but it's not delicious. Is that, I always get confused because coffee cake's not meant to taste like coffee, right? No, it's like something you eat with coffee, like in the morning, you know? But it has like this, oh no, oh will, no. You, will you show it down here? Yeah. Sorry, my hands are blue from the kettle corn. But it has like this little gooey layer in between like the cake and the crumb part. Yeah. It's so good. It's, it's pretty delicious. Yeah. How much was this? I think it was like $3. Mmm. Yay. Delicious. So, buddy, don't don't stand on that. The thing about the blueberry stuff, though, that I noticed is like when we ate the um, the blueberry on the bratwurst, or was it bratwurst or it was Italian? an Italian sausage? That was so good because I feel like it was just slightly sweet. Mm -hmm. Just like this is like just slightly sweet, and you can taste this has like a little bit of salt in it. So it's just like the perfect thing for sweet and salty. Yeah. Who knew blueberry was the perfect thing? Can I be real with you all some like right now? No, never. Do you all have a spot on your countertop where you put all of your recycling for the day before it goes out into the bin? Can you, is it right behind me? It's like right here. Oh. Or it's right there. They're gonna think, here's the thing. Our recycling is in our garage and it's like, it's not super far away, but it's just at the end of the day 
we just take it all in one trip out to the recycling bin in the garage and then it sits on the counter all day and it looks so messy yeah we're just trying to be like earth conscious right we're just trying to help the environment earth day oh yeah jackson are you gonna try some of our blueberry bar let me have baby's first reaction of the blueberry bar <clears throat> he's like don't yeah. stand on that he's like, <laughs> jackson what did you think yeah. <laughs> oh i guess he liked it good morning <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another day hi buddy oh guess what we already lost your little your little drumstick for your steel drum i know imagine we that just got you the steel drum and then that day we lost it yeah so love that well the good news is this is from his out of tune xylophone and it works so i think the other one was like a, a stick like a chopstick with like a rubber band balled up on the end of it so it gave it like a softer yeah, we love that, buddy. I can That's do it like this end and make it a little bit softer. Wow, look at that. Well, this is my favorite song. Um, so absolutely nothing has changed. Everything is exactly the same as it was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a few days since the Blueberry Festival. It has, yeah. Oh, I did want to mention also, and this is from a totally different video. It's actually from, yeah, from our, from our last home vlog. After we left the Blueberry Festival, when we came home, I tried to make dinner and the oven didn't work. And we mentioned that we thought the house was possibly struck by lightning or something near the house was struck by lightning. And somebody left a comment and said, before you buy it, we were gonna buy like a whole new oven. And somebody left a comment and said, before you do that, check the fuses. Yeah. Like on the uh, the control board. So there is a fuse, like a main fuse inside of there that's still good. So yeah, Tim took this entire thing apart and checked the fuses, like you said. Right. So hold on, let me show you. So this is the control board. Like you can see, it looks like a microwave oven in here, right? So this came out of the oven. So if you look, there is a fuse right there that is bad now. But I also took this board out and looked at it and there's a very large burn mark on it. So I don't feel comfortable replacing that fuse myself and then putting it back in the oven. Like I, I tested as much as I have the knowledge of testing and everything seems fine, but uh, we're still gonna send this off to a professional to have them look over it once, replace the fuse, check any other resistors, capacitors, anything else that may have gone bad in this board and then they'll send it back to us. So this is a, a much cheaper option before we go and we buy a whole new oven. Yeah. So we'll let you guys know. We'll keep you updated on the, the oven adventure. But so far, you want to, that's not for buddies. You see it, buddy? You want to look at it? That's electronics. Wow. He's like, I don't oh, like it. No. <laughs> he did not like it. A bit overwhelming for me. Yeah. So I just wanted to keep you all in the loop because we had mentioned this in the home vlog that this happened after the blueberry festival which is this video that you're watching right now so uh so yeah but now i think we're gonna call it a day i think this is gonna be the end of our blueberry video we had a really good time blueberry festival was really fun and um the food was good we were kind of shocked about the blueberries on different things being as good as it was blueberries and cheese delicious blueberries on the italian sausage delicious yes, Every, everything surprising yeah so we'll definitely be back to the blueberry festival next year and i'd like to go to more festivals in mount dora because it was just such like a fun cute family day i feel like somebody should have a booberry festival like from the from the cereal count chocula cereal yeah. cereal just that's the whole festival it's all booberries all right <laughs> We'll be there. We'll do it. Um, Mount Dora, let us know. So, um, Pisces Rising was delicious. I think we'll definitely be back to eat more food there. But all in all, it was a really great day. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with us at the festival. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, and with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, and now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.